Marshall has updated their popular line of Bluetooth speakers, and we're going to check out the most popular one, the Stanmore 2. Welcome everyone, it is Andrew here from Apple Insider, and the Stanmore 2 fits squarely in the middle of the lineup, above the Acton 2 and below the Woburn. While it still isn't what we would consider cheap, its spot there in the middle makes it the most popular of Marshall's lineup. Marshall largely kept the design of the speaker the same, keeping what worked and tweaking what needed updated, and now has a much more modern design while still keeping that retro vibe. Additional brass plates along the bottom of the new grill add slight new accents. On the top, the knobs lost their knurling finish but instead gained new rubberized ones. They're still easy to grip and they have metal caps on top which keeps that quality feel. All of the controls on the top are laid into a brass plate and not a plastic one that we saw from their new portable speakers. On the far left, we have an auxiliary input using your own 3.5mm headphone cable. A small button allows you to rotate between the sources, including that auxiliary, Bluetooth, and the RCA around back. We then have the three knobs to adjust the volume, the bass, and the treble. While these were really neat to be able to kind of control and tweak the tunes just to your liking, they didn't change everything all that much, still keeping Marshall's iconic sound and just making it change a little bit. They replaced the power toggle, so instead of the solid snap you got with the old one, there's now a little lever. It's less satisfying to turn it on and off, but it works better with the new iOS app. Around the back, which to be honest is fairly ugly, it has an RCA input as well as the power input. The reason we don't really care that it's too ugly is this thing is meant to stay in place. It's not a portable speaker, so it's going to sit on your shelf and play music. You're not really going to see that back all too often, though it would have been nice to see a little bit more design go into it. Among the changes in version 2, we still use AppDex for audio for devices that support it, which does not include iOS, but it does include a new iOS app counterpart, where you can kind of do a few different things including tweaking the audio. Instead of relying on the speaker itself to change those knobs, you can go through a bunch of adjustable EQ presets for things like rock music. It'll automatically adjust it to that specific style of music. You can also use the app to couple a pair of speakers together for a stereo pair. Connecting now is better thanks to Bluetooth 5 upgraded from the Bluetooth 4 series we had in the past. Playing music back, it sounds still great, though at the most high levels we did notice a tad bit of distortion, but not necessarily terrible, more of just full volume at a rock show kind of distortion. While there is adjustable EQ, this speaker still seems largely tuned for rock music in general. It has solid but not overpowering bass, and this thing is easily large enough to fill a fairly good sized room. When we look at all the new Marshall speakers, they did a great job in upgrading them, lots of new features, better connectivity, new app features. We definitely love the upgrades here, but the Stanmore still feels a little overpriced. We think there's better value going with the Woburn, though it is quite a bit more expensive. If you can spring out the extra cash, go for the Woburn. However, if you like the look and the style of the Marshall Stanmore 2, you can't go wrong. Grab it from the link. <laughs>